Hey guys, John Wise here uh, with Comageddon, and I'm here to give a review of the new Ghostbusters 101 comic book that's out right now. I've just read the first three issues, so let's go ahead and get right into it. <laughs> Okay, so, I always want to state first, Ghostbusters has always been a big part of my childhood. Anytime Ghostbusters come, something Ghostbusters comes out, uh, whether it's a new movie, or a comic book, or action figures, I'm always interested in, just plain out interested. When, sh when I found out that there was a uh, comic book series that was going to mash uh, the two new Ghostbuster franchise, the original and then the new movie, Definitely piqued my interest because um, uh, if you re I'm not sure if you remember, but Shannon and I did a review of the new Ghostbusters movie that came out. Um, I liked it, and I think he didn't. That's where you're wrong, John. I did like the new Ghostbusters movie, but the 101 definitely intrigued me. Brief little synopsis here. Um, so IDW has been uh, doing uh, Ghostbuster comics for a while now. And they're the Ghostbusters based on the movie franchise, Ghostbusters. And they pretty much nailed the personalities of these guys. They're really, the personal, the personalities, um, really, they kind of meshed the uh, real Ghostbusters and the movie Ghostbusters. Uh, and I kind of like it. Um, the personalities of the new Ghostbusters uh, are pretty dead on. So here, here's what we got, the first three issues. Uh, it's called Ghostbusters 101. And apparently, uh, there was a uh, Ghostbusters Ninja Turtles crossover. And during that particular time, the Turtles and uh, Egon worked on a uh, interdimensional portal, which appeared in the 1980s cartoon series. So that's a nice little, that's kind of cool. Well, the Ghostbusters have some interns or trainees. And uh, these trainees kind of messed with the interdimensional portal a bit. Tell them not to, and of course they're going to. Uh, and this um, th th this interferes, of course, in in, in uh, the two different Ghostbuster universes and how we bring both teams of Ghostbusters together. I'm having fun reading this. Um, they, of course, one of my favorite characters of the original Ghostbusters was Kevin. Uh, and, of course, he's portrayed in the new comic book, and uh, really well. Uh, let's see, we have... Um, he's, he's one of the first ones to notice that things are starting to merge. So, that, that that's, you know, of course, they think it's a little nuts. Uh, we get a little history um, of uh, the Ghostbusters battle with Gozer. Uh, this storyline kind of serves as a sequel to the new Ghostbusters film as well. Uh, we get a lot of hints that Patty had uh, heard the name Zool before, which was a um, post-credit or after-credit scene in, in the, in the Go newer Ghostbusters movie. Uh, we even get a nod, we even get a cameo by the real Ghostbusters, thanks in parts to Holtzman. And ironic, there's a funny moment between where she sees the real Ghostbuster version of Egon and talks about his hair, which is quite similar to her hair. So there's, there's, there's an in-joke there that's made. The storyline has a real Ghostbusters feel to it. The um, personalities of the current uh, original Ghostbusters are very much like the movie counterparts. And then, of course, we got the newer Ghostbusters, which are very much like their their counterparts. So, I mean, the, the way that uh, the, the writers and the artists, uh, are, are, are the, the way they're doing the storyline, the way they're doing the book is amazing. I'm loving it. It's fun read. I mean, this is something definitely to check out. I believe the first three issues are out. Uh, with, the, with the fourth, I'm not sure how many issues. It doesn't say how many issues it's going to be, like, one of. So, uh, definitely definitely huge fan of the storyline so far. Uh, big thumbs up. Uh, highly recommended. Uh, if you can't get any of the newer issues, you could always try going on, uh, try getting them online of course um, I always prefer physical copies if I can um, but I'm not opposed to reading them and then getting the physical copies later uh, reading them online and then getting the physical copies later um, as long as you're supporting 
the comic book industry, you know. So there you go. I mean, um, really good storyline, really good art. Um, I loved the I loved the way they're meshing everything together. IDW is doing a wonderful job with their Ghostbusters and Ninja Turtles um, franchises, and uh, yeah, it's it's it's, it's fantastic. I, I can't uh, I can't wait to to, to finish reading.